All right, awesome. So now I'm going to go and turn this in, and I should level up. Let's go ahead and jump to Niakara, because that's where our next side story is, and also my go-to for going to item shop and job request board. I need to go to Fenmont to buy stuff so that I'll have the, uh, yay, gold and whatnot, and the silver seal. Awesome. Wasn't there something I needed the silver seal for? Oh, hey, this. I've already got, like, a ton of stuff from Arklin Quag. That's easy to turn in. I'm going to have a lot of monster fights to do that'll get me really close to uh, the next silver thing, the silver medal. Then I'll get to go on to the gold token and the gold stuff. I'm actually getting really far in all of these uh, tokens and things. Elemental circlet. I gotta have the gold badge for that? Dang. Gold badge is like three away. Gotta have the gold token for that. That's not too far away. I've got this. Turn that in. I got duality, which is like a shirt or something, I think I just said. Do I have any of this other stuff I can do right now? Or Well, I have monsters I can fight. I'm gonna do that on my own time, though. It's really kind of boring. Don't want to have to make you guys watch me go through random fights. We'll do the more fun stuff on the actual playthrough. All these little things like fighting so-and-so monsters 12 times. I'll do that on my own time just to get more gold and whatnot. So now I have to actually talk to you to turn in gold. I have a ton of gold. Dang. Let's do uh, 200,000. Give me the goods and I'll give you the slip. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. I got another uh, debt thing. My thing is back here, my side story. Let's go do whoever it is. I'm betting Mila, because that's the person with the most connection here. It is Mila. Awesome, let's do this. Maybe there are only four chapters for everyone. Oh no, Mila's chapter five. Incorrect, right off the bat. Servant of Maxwell. We've scoured the village tomes and oral histories, but unfortunately, no definitive version of that story seems to have survived. Forgive me, Lady Mila. I have failed you. Execute him for his foolishness. No, nah, I'm just kidding. A light lashing will do. It's okay. Thanks for trying. If anything comes up, let me know. Did you need something? Did you learn anything about Mila Kwesnick? I just wanted to see you. Did you learn anything? I want to know the good stuff. Ah, uh, that. I've been pursuing several different leads, but so far none of them has led to reliable information. One thing that does ring true is that the people of Nia Kara are Kwesnick's descendants. Hmm? According to local legend, Nia Kara was settled by Kwesnick's descendants. That's why there's a shrine to Maxwell here. And why the people still practice old-fashioned spirit worship. If the Fracture Dimension Aska was telling the truth about the previous Maxwell, then the schism must have split the ancestors of Kresnik in two. Here's a plan. Find a Fracture Dimension with old Maxwell, go to old Maxwell, beat the crap out of him, and demand to know things. That might actually happen, we'll see. With some in Olympias, and some in Rizamaxia. But wouldn't such a major event have been recorded in the texts and oral histories? No, because it's related to the schism, so a uh, Musée would have killed anyone who tried to record that. Good point. It would have been a major historical shift. There must be more to this story. Ah, oh, here it is, Fractured Dimension, where we'll get to meet old Maxwell. DODA here. We've detected a new Fractured Dimension. I'm the Vice President! I don't do grunt work no more! The rift is near Nia Kara. We've sent you the coordinates. Please take care of it. I heard her say Nia Kara. Is it the next fractured dimension? Maybe they'll know more about Mila Kresnik in the fractured version of Nia Kara. My thoughts exactly, Jude. Jude, you read my mind. We all did. Even the great fat one knew. Look at him over there on the left side of the screen. He knew. He knows what's up. He's looking at the feathers on uh, Luger's pants. He wants to bite him. He thinks it's a bird of some kind. Luger, I want to accompany you on this mission. Me too. All right, then. Let's go. Luger's GHS. I have to say, Luger's GHS always seems to ring at the worst times. Hmm? Now that you mention it, it does seem like someone always calls him when we're in the middle of a conversation. He's the vice president. He's got a lot of people calling him, man. Yeah, it happens so often. It's enough to make me wonder if they're doing it on purpose. Hmm. 
It's not my fault. Sorry about that. I know it's obnoxious. I'm sorry. Oh, we're not criticizing you. Right. Sometimes coincidences like that just happen to pile up. Like just the other day, I got calls from five wrong numbers in a row. Oh? What did you do? Nothing special. I just told each of them they had the wrong number. Hmm. I see. Perhaps Luger could solve his problem the same way. No, he couldn't, because the people calling him actually are calling him. He can tell everyone who calls they have the wrong number until no one ever calls him again. That that would never work. I guess it could work, but it would screw Luger over more than anything. Sorry, she makes a fine lord of spirits, but she still has a lot to learn about humans. A lot, a lot to learn about humans. You'll have to forgive her. <laughs> oh, Mila. Mila, Mila, Mila. That's the second time I've said that. What do we get? Yes, two more Gaius, dump Gaius dumplings. Blah. I just need one more, I believe. Pretty sure I have six right now. Then I can start sending my cats to other random things. Anyways, taking Gaius at will. Good. The incineration wave is always nice to have on hand. And here we are. Can I switch to... Yes, Gaius is leader. Let's gather what information we can. The Divergence Cap... Is that... Ivor? It is indeed. Also, something worth noting is that the uh, elemental stones are still uh, around in this world. Is the water one in all here as well? There's the fire one over there. Ivor was looking at the ground one. There's the water one. The wind one is way over there. I see it as well. So all of the uh, elemental stones are not broken in this dimension because in Tales of Zillia 1, we broke them in like the first two hours of the game. Not two hours of the game, but very early in the game. Is he crying? Did something happen to Mila? What's happening? I have to know. Look, Ivor's doing weird ivory stuff again. That's just how Ivor is. He's so weird. Scram, merchants. You must be the only chump in the world who still believes in the four great spirits. Maxwell and the spirits are just a fairy tale invented by grown-ups, you dummy. <laughs> I hate kids like this. I would... Ooh. I would be losing my cool so fast against kids like this. I cannot stand stuck-up, know-it-all little kids. Drives me crazy. Ha! You've proven your own ignorance, fools. Allow me to school you. First of all, this town wouldn't even exist without the efforts of the great spirit channeler, Kresnik. Oh boy, here we go. Now he's weird and boring. Let's go. Ipso facto. Hey, get back here! Sorry to interrupt your lesson. Do you know about Kresnik, Ivor? Uh, sir? He might still know Mila. Mila might exist in this world. And who exactly are you? Apparently Mila does not exist in this world, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my speculations. This must be a world in which Maxwell decided not to make Mila, because Maxwell made Mila for the sole purpose of um, faking people out into believing that Mila was Maxwell so he could draw out, um, what, what are they called? Exodus. So he could draw out Exodus so that Muse could then execute Exodus. I'm pretty sure that was why Maxwell invented Mila. So this must be a fractured dimension where he didn't go with that plan and simply did not create Mila, or Exodus never got through the schism and into, a uh, Reza Maxia. One of the two. Or, you know, there might be some third thing I'm not thinking of. We don't want any trouble, that's for sure. Answer our questions. Yeah, answer our questions. Tell us what we want to know. Didn't your mother teach you any manners? Maybe. We're researchers interested in spirit worship. Jude, you are always so quick and smart. Good job, man. Good job. You deserve a cookie. Would you consider sharing your expertise with us? Please spare no detail. You're researching spirit worship? Correct. In particular, the human named Mila Kresnik. Why is the earth stone down in front of him now? Was he polishing it? Was that what he was doing a minute ago and not crying? I thought it looked like he was crying. He must have been polishing the earth stone, though. Hmm. How could anyone researching spirit worship not know about Mila Kresnik? Maybe this is a world where uh, Muse didn't kill off everyone who knew about the schism. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see soon. I'll stop speculating now. But I'm willing to play along, even if you are suspicious. I'll tell you, but just this once... 
Thanks, I've... I've... I've never felt so grateful. Good. Your gratitude is noted. Those kids were saying his name like five times earlier, saying it's Ivor doing Iverish things. Ivor's so weird. Ivor's weird and boring. You guys could have said his name, and if he asked, you could be like, oh, we heard those kids call you Ivor. Is that not your name? It would have been simple. Now, Mila Kresnik was the first human ever to summon Lord Maxwell. She was a singing handmaid and the first chief of the Kresnik clan. A singing handmaid? Huh. How strange. How dare you! Show some respect! I'm... Sorry. <laughs> I can't believe I was just scolded by Ivor. Mila Kresnik had a wonderful singing voice. It said she sang with such passion that even Lord Maxwell fell under her spell. So does that mean this village was founded by Mila Kresnik herself? Alas, no. She died young, before Niakara was built. The village was founded by a member of her clan. I see. You've been very helpful. Of course I have. Don't you know who I am? I am Ivor, Mila Kresnik's successor as handmaid to Lord Maxwell. Preserving and propagating the lore of Lord Maxwell is a handmaid's sworn duty. I must ensure the lore is kept without error forevermore, even if the heavens be split or the earth torn asunder. Right. Thank you. Ivor! It's back! Come quick! The Terror of the Hollowmont? That thing just won't quit! It gets worse. Apparently, two village kids were seen heading up the Hollowmont. It's those two obnoxious ones, and we're gonna have to save them, and I'm not gonna enjoy it, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because I'm a cool guy. Ugh. What? Anyway, you gotta get over there. I'll be right behind you. The Terror of the Hollowmont? I've never heard of such a thing. Could it be Musée? Hmm. Possibly. Perhaps it's our divergence catalyst. Then we're going to. Nah, it wouldn't be Musée then, because would they really have Musée be the divergence catalyst twice? Because we fought Musée really early on when we first met, uh, fake Mila. She was the divergence catalyst in fake Mila's dimension. I'm making too many speculations. Let's just get on with the game so that I'll know for sure. <laughs> do, do, do. To the Holomont. It's probably not going to let me quick jump to the Holomon, is it? No, I've only got Neocara unlocked because it's a fractured dimension. Oh, well. Also, I don't think I mentioned it, even though it's been this way for a couple of parts now, but I activated this little thing on Gaius. When it's in his skill list, and it costs zero points to activate, but it changes his running animation, so when he stops, he uh, if I bring him to a sudden stop, he does the little flip, which I thought was pretty cool. Give me this. Money. Give me money. Ah, oh, it's French toast. Screw you, toast. I don't think I've ever had French toast. I've had normal toast, like buttered toast. I love buttered toast. I don't think I've actually had legitimate uh, French toast, though. All I really want now is money. I've become slightly more greedy now, because all I want is money so I can pay this debt. That's like all I want to do in life now is pay that debt. Or at least all I really want to do in this game. Well, no, I want to play the game, of course, but... It's like at the forefront of my mind now is I need to pay off this debt so I can see what happens when you pay all of the debt in the game. I gotta know. Also, let's go ahead and buy from this guy so I don't have to buy when I go back to Fenmont. Do you have... Yes, he does have pineapple gels and whatnot. Good. Go ahead and max out everything. I'm still gonna unlock bottles and panakia bottles. That's always nice to see. Awesome. To the Holomont we go. We gotta go through Mila Shrine first. Bum, 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 bum. There is a, uh, whatchamacallit over here? Elemental ore thing. Give me this. Ten elemental ore. Not bad. Every little bit counts, you know? Just makes my characters stronger and stronger and stronger and even stronger. Do do. Do do. This is still called Mila Shrine, even though, well, that's probably just saying Mila Shrine because of, uh, for my convenience, so that, or for the gamers, or the developer's convenience. So they don't have to code in a different name for the place. 30 elemental ore. Dang. Don't touch me. No, it touched me and it was a back attack. Dang it. How strong are these monsters? Are these monsters like near my level or stupid weak? Uh, I can't tell. I won't hold back. Not stupid weak, but I wouldn't really say at my level. Die, you die. Rising Falcon. 
Onward. Die, butterfly, die! Remember to carve your own path. Yeah, nothing will stand in my way. Of course not. 